first step to getting a good, solid budget paint job. You have got to take care of the details. It's all in the prep. I just use a uh, little special from Harbor Freight there. It does the job for what we're doing here. We're not trying to knock, you know, things loose from your driveway. So now my next step is I'm just going to take this green scrubby. Now understand this, this has already been sanded at one time, so I don't need to sand it down. So there's no loose paint, but I gotta get all the dirt and the grime off. So I'm gonna take this green scrubby and a pail of water. I'm gonna go around the whole way. Now, the customer first, she wanted it painted the whole way. Whoop, you've seen it. It's a vintage trailer. It's got some flaws and that's okay. It's okay. So we're gonna do just an upgraded kind of a patina build. We know it's patina. It knows it's patina, but let's sharpen it up with a stripe, a real nice stripe. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna go around the middle, go around the belt line, if you will, and scrub it real good. turned our water gray so we know we did a good job on that so you don't need to watch me green scrubby the rest of this trailer i'm going to do that and then i'll be back with our next step but the thing to remember it's all in the prep prep it got the whole thing scrubbed now i've got to go and hit it with the sprayer one more time because there's going to be residue so let's rinse it off Now, if you're just doing your own camper, you don't need a sprayer. If you have one, great, use it. If you don't, just use a hose. Just scrub it real good and hit it real good. Now, I'm just gonna go over this with some paper towels because they're white, and I'm gonna look to make sure that I got all of the gray residue off of it. And if I do, then it's gonna dry, and then we're gonna talk about the design. We're gonna get it taped up. As I look on here, there's a little bit of gray, not much, but you would expect there to be some on there, you know, and that's why we do this last step like this. So I would suggest to you that that front and this side real close to prepped. So I'm going to finish the rest of the trailer and then it's going to take probably 45 minutes or so for it to dry. I'm going to let it dry real good because if you don't, and something drips it drips right where you don't want it and then you got a mess so i'm gonna do that let it dry thoroughly and uh after this bumper plays we'll start talking again got to figure out a, just a stripe it's gonna be a simple stripe this is vintage now i did have a little leftover saran wrap so i wrapped the windows i've never done that before but it was left over from when it's not saran it's packing wrap or something but i had it left over from a project not too long ago you'll if you haven't seen it you'll see it pretty quick um but anyway i think the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make the bottom of the stripe right there that way we don't you know that's that's quilted right there so we'll leave that quilted now the idea is just how far up do we come and on the back you you, you can't see but there are some big tail lights i don't want to introduce the tail lights of the stripe but i might have to just based on where they are. And then you'll see some quilting right there. And it comes up pretty high. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna make this happen. I don't know. And I don't know if it'd be okay to just cut that corner of that quilting there and then just leave this quilting. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it and then we're gonna look at it. And I'll just do this side so you can tell me what you think. I've got this uh, green tape it's like frog tape or something. It's pretty expensive. That blue tape never works for me. I, I'm not saying that maybe they haven't fixed it. I don't know. But this always works. Crisp edges every single time. Just a tip from me. They're not paying me. Yeah, that was the obvious one that's where we're going to start and then of course i'll take some plastic or paper or cardboard or something and i'll cover that up and of course 
will cover the wheels up. So I think I will see where I like how far up I want this to go. All right, I think that's gonna be a really thick stripe and I think that it's gonna be really, it's really gonna stand out and draw your eye away from the patina that, that wasn't done so well by the last guy that worked on this. So we wanna draw their eye down here where it's more straight and let them look at that beautiful mint color we're gonna put on it. Now what I do is I find a line that's already there, like in one of the brakes and then I just follow that. And that's how you get it as straight as you can get it. Now I'm gonna run over here to the front, figure something out, I don't know. All right, my thinking on that is I don't like a whole lot in the front or the back anyway. It should taper off, in my opinion. So, if we leave this quilting, and this isn't quilted, it's just silver. So people may not notice that we're gonna cover a lot of it up, but they may just follow this line here, and then they'll say, well, it's still silver there. Your eye will take care of a lot of those things for you. So I think that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna measure and make sure that that uh, point is right in the middle. And I think that's where we're gonna go. So I gotta do that to the other side and to the back, and then I've got to come in and tape from here up. You got to tape all of that in down to that point. And I got to tape all of the, ooh, where's my hand? All of that down there. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. I'm going to lay down a little uh, Zinser one, two, three that I got from the big box store. It's a, uh, primer that sits real well and it's what they recommend and I've been using it for a long time so I'm going to go over here to the sprayer and lay down a little even with this that primer on there it looks a hundred times better so uh oh well, that's a sun I guess I don't know well, anyway, um, I got to let that dry. It's going to take 45 minutes to an hour. It's in the direct sun, so it does not take long. But we'll make sure it's completely dry. Then we'll come back and we'll put our mint green on that. And uh, it'll be right after this bumper plays. You don't have to wait too long. Hey, well, it's ready to go. Let's print this uh, stripe on here and see how we ended up. <laughs> Before I take you back out, show you the finished product, I'm gonna show you this stuff. This is what I was telling you, if you can read that through the paint, Zinser 123 primer. It's uh, supposed to be great for aluminum and I've had great luck with it. Been using it for three years, maybe a little longer than three years, good stuff. And then, into your exterior, high gloss enamel. That's what they recommend and I've used it again for three years and it works and it lays down real nice. And I think part of the reason that it lays down real nice, and I don't know if you could even see this, this is a Magnum by Graco. I don't even know what the model is, honestly, but um, that's what it, that's the one I use. And I've used, again, the same, uh, it's our second one. Um, I've used these for uh, three years now and they work really well for, you know, for an amateur painter, and that's all I am. You know, I don't even like the paint. It works out really well. So I like it, I'm happy with it. Now, if you wanna get the different kind of sprayer and do like, uh, you know, car paint and things like that, you can. I, I just don't know how to do that. Maybe I'll learn next year, but this works for me for now. So I just wanted to show you where we're at. And then here in a little bit, I'm gonna run out there and take that tape off and show you the finished product. It's a little wet, but it's always, for me, when it's not quite dry, but almost dry, I always take it off. Get it out of there. Really, I think that tape can stay on there for 24 hours. I don't like to. So I'm just going to very carefully start taking this off. Russ will probably put it in double time so you don't have to watch me fiddling with it.
Okay, let's look at the finished product. That's almost a little understated. I think it'll darken up a little bit as we go, but I like it, like it. I've been known to like the mint green on these vintage campers. Put a little tuxedo on the front there. Just a little something. Got a little tape right there to take down. Missed that, but I'll get it. And over here, I think that's a really nice shot right there. Really nice shot. That looks good. Like it. Like it. That's how to uh, paint on a budget.